Good morning children today we are going to start this new chapter and about uh, this new chapter Arthur and the Sword we had already started in our life class but due to this network issue so we had to stop uh, just after a few paragraphs so today I'll talk about uh, I'll start this in detail and uh, those students who failed in uh, hearing uh, this so you will get this this is also for you so first of all uh, i don't want to give any brief today because if i start giving any brief then uh, i'll have to tell you the summary okay what happens and how the story proceeds and ultimately i'll have to tell you the ending also so what i'll do is uh, let's just start directly into uh, directly in the uh, chapter okay so our name of the chapter is arthur and the sword now uh, the very first page okay this is very important first of all let me tell you so till your first page be very careful about each of the line because in most of the lines in each of the line firstly in this uh, paragraphs in this five paragraphs you get some uh, actually lot of informations and lots of characters are introduced so just listen that properly now see after uh, after King Athar Pendragon of Britain died, apparently with no son to succeed, a dispute arose in the country about who should be the next king. Every knight in the region wanted to seize the crown for himself. Now what happened? There was a king whose name was King Athar Pendragon of Britain. Now this person, he had died. This uh, King Athar Pendragon of Britain, he died. And after... Uh, as we know that after a king dies, the son has to take the control of the kingdom. Yes, for, uh, to, uh, so that the kingdom or the uh, control of the kingdom can run smoothly. So in that case, this son did not have, any, uh, this uh, king did not have any son. And as it was known by the people that this king did not have any son to succeed. That means to sit on the throne now. So what happened? The In the region, okay, in the, in the area, there was all uh, people were disputing. People were all fighting against each other just to get the hold of the throne. So that they could get the power. But King Athar did. Now... They, the people, the people already knew that uh, King Athar did not have a son. Okay, and that is the reason why they were fighting against each other to get the hold of the throne. But the story is something different. What is the story? What is the uh, story which is hiding? The story which is hiding is that King Athar actually had a son and nobody knew about it. Okay, so this is the uh, thing which was hidden we will also get to know why it was hidden there was uh, some reason behind that now see but king Athar did in fact have a son whose name was Arthur now first of all don't get confused between the name Athar and Arthur it is the name of the king is Athar U-T-H-E-R but the name of the son is Arthur. A-R-T-H-U-R. It is Arthur. Okay. First thing. Next thing is his name was Arthur and no one knew of him. Nobody knew about the son, this baby. For he had been taken away secretly while he was still a baby. Uh, first of all, I will tell you to mark um, paragraph 2. This is very important. But King Athar did in fact have a son whose name was Arthur. No one knew of him for he had been taken away secretly while he was still a baby by a wise old man called Merlin and left in the care of Sir Ector, a noble and faithful knight. Arthur had grown up thinking that Sir Ector was his father and Sir Kay, his son, was his older brother. Now, what happened is after the kid or after this baby was born, he was given to uh, a person named Merlin. Okay. Be very careful. Because till now we have got two characters. The, the king and his son. Athar and Arthur. 
okay now as we got to know that this king king athar uh, pendragon what he had done he had given his uh, baby he had given his son to while he was a baby he had given his son to merlin okay the person named merlin and now this merlin what he did he gave the son or the baby to sir ector and he believed that sir ector was a noble and was such a person who could be trusted who could be um, was a faithful person okay this person can be trusted so merlin gave the uh, responsibility of uh, uh, arthur to sir ector and on that side king athar also gave the responsibility of the baby to merlin because he believed him now we don't get to know much about merlin because nothing much is uh, mentioned about him but it's only the only thing we get to know is that king gave his son to merlin and then merlin passed on the baby to uh, sir ector so that he could uh, raise him up as a proper child with uh, proper lessons and on the other hand here let's talk about the son the uh, the child whose name is arthur now this child he uh, while he was growing up okay while he was growing up so he thought that sir ector is his father whereas sir ector was only given the responsibility to raise him up okay to rear him up and arthur what he thought he thought that sir ector was his father and uh, sir ector already had a son whose name was sir k and he uh, arthur thought that sir ector was his father and sir k was his uh, older brother uh, now one more thing i also want to mention here if you see here it's mentioned that uh, sir ector was a noble and faithful knight knight means uh, he was a warrior okay he used to uh, he was a warrior he was so that's why he is given the title of sir you might think that why the son and the father is named as sir ector sir k so that is a title which is given to the warriors okay to the knights okay now let's come back to the story which was going on this this is the uh, what you say um, this is sort of information paragraph 2 it's a sort of information and from first paragraph the story has started now uh, paragraph 2 was an information given in between now we are back to our story so let's see in paragraph 3 to resolve the dispute that was raging in the country the archbishop on the advice of merlin invited all the lords and knights to london and as this thing was going on in the country so what happened uh, this dispute which was uh, carrying on in the um, country the archbishop okay archbishop means the head of the church now this head of the church was advised by merlin that to invite all the lords and knights to london let all the knights and lords be invited to london then they will be arranging something let's see what's that it was christmas time and in the great cathedral in the that great church a solemn service was held and prayer was made to god to show some sign of who should be the rightful king of britain and this was the thing which was to be done which they thought could be applied in this case because nobody knew that Uh, who is going to be the next king and everybody was fighting like uh, they want the power they wanted the power but nobody uh, just we can't select anybody to just sit on the throne right because then everybody will uh, be fighting against each other that why this person has got the chance why not the other so this thing had happened so uh, merlin gave the advice that let's uh, call all the knights and lords to london then we'll be performing a uh, we'll be arranging a prayer service where we will be offering our prayers we will uh, will ask god so that he will show some sign um, by which we will understand or we uh, which we can uh, find out some solution or maybe god will um, uh, give some give us some solution so that we can find our next king so when the service was over so they uh, did all the um, all the service all the ceremonies were over and sorry not ceremonies the service the prayer service and everything they they were all over and then what happened there appeared a strange stone in the churchyard against the high altar now 
after the service was over after this prayer service uh, was over now what they saw when they came out in the churchyard what they saw is there was a altar altar you know uh, have you seen that uh, that square shaped havan kund it is said where you offer all this uh, ahuti and everything all that uh, that means prayers are offered okay so uh, that is called altar that square shaped so in that just nearby that there was uh, there appeared a strange stone okay there was placed a strange stone now this was not placed from a uh, long time but uh, what is the thing it appeared suddenly they could see it suddenly just after the service was over that means god had answered their prayers and they could see a strange stone just uh, in the churchyard it was a great white stone yeah now you uh, mark this paragraph 4 when the service was over uh, yeah uh, from starting from the very first line when the service was over there appeared a strange stone in the churchyard against the high altar it was a great white stone like marble with a naked sword stuck in the midst of it the sword had letters of golden written on it which read whosoever pull this sword out of the stone and anvil is the rightly born king of all england now when the service was over they saw this stone and that was not a random stone the stone is even described here that it was a great white stone it was a white color stone just like marble okay it just seemed like white marble and also with a naked sword stuck in the midst of it now just imagine one thing that a stone which is very hard right first of all a stone is very hard now in the stone a sword is stuck inside first of all this thing is something not usual okay first of all secondly the uh, the uh, the stone was not uh, uh, was not usual that was a very strange kind of stone it was made of marble it was white color the stone was of white color then secondly the uh the sword also it was not normal it was not uh i i won't say it's uh, not normal but it was a naked sword okay it did not have any cover it was just stuck inside the stone and on the sword with golden letters those were written in the <clears throat> stone that whosoever pulled this sword out of the stone and and will is the rightly born king of all england this thing was mentioned in the uh what you say uh in the uh, in the stone okay with golden letters this was written it was written that whoever will be able to pull out the sword out of the stone he or she will become the rightly born king of all england so he or she is going to become the next king uh, sorry yes um king not she the person or that man or that male is going to be the next king of england all the knights who had gathered there wondered at the strange sword and its strange writing and all the audience whoever were present there the warriors the knights whoever were present there they were surprised that what had just happened we were all fighting here and here on the other hand what happened uh, they got a stone where this sword was stuck and something strange was written on the sword and when the agbi shop gave them permission many of the knights tried to pull the sword from the stone and while the head of the church the agbi shop when he gave the permission that now you can go forward and you can uh, try your luck maybe the uh, sword will come out maybe we will be able to uh, uh, pick out the um, sword from the stone so they all tried but nobody was able to pull the sword out of the stone they all hoped to be king okay they were uh, they were all pulling uh, they all tried to pull out the um, sword from the stone just in the hope of becoming king but no one could move it even a hair's breadth now this is an expression of saying that not even an inch moved uh it is said no uh, 
भगवान की मर्जी के बगैर एक पत्ता भी नहीं हिलता सो दिस द सेम थिंग हैपनिंग हियर दैट विदाउट द प्रॉपर पर्सन द एलिजिबल पर्सन दिस सोड वॉज नॉट गोइंग टू मूव इवेन अ इंच ऑल्सो नॉट इवेन अ बेट ऑल्सो आई होप दिस इज गेटिंग इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू ओके लेट सी नेक्स्ट वॉट हैपन्स लेट सी दिस पैराग्राफ सिक्स ही इज नॉट हियर से द आग बिशॉप सो द आग बिशॉप से दैट आफ्टर सो मेनी पीपल हैव ट्राइड सो द आग बिशॉप से दैट द पर्सन इज नॉट हियर द पर्सन इज नॉट प्रेजेंट अमंग अस who is chosen to be the king but god will make him known soon god will make some way so that that person will be known to us and that will happen very soon any man may try his skill at withdrawing the sword at 12th day now what is this 12th day let's see in our word meanings 12th day is 6th january that is the 12th day after christmas now christmas is on 25th 25th december 26 27 28 29 30 31 1 2 3 4 5 january so it is observed as a festival in the honor of the coming of the three kings to the baby jesus so you will mark this 12th day what is this what is this expression 12th day so you have known already but until that day let all be patient and until then we shall appoint certain kings of pure fame to guard the stone so the archbishop he said that um, until the 12th day appears or it um, until we don't proceed towards the 12th day what we will do we will all be patient and until then we shall appoint certain knights of pure fame that means will appoint certain people who will guard the stone okay so that the stone will be guarded the archbishop then arranged that on new year's day that means 1st january there should be joust and a tournament and other fine events so that the knights and the common people should be kept together till the king should be revealed so now the archbishop came up with this idea that on new year's day uh some tournaments some competitions will be arranged so that what will happen the knights and the common people should be kept together till the king should be revealed they will be arranging something so uh, so that every person will be present over there and whoever will try maybe within the trial maybe they will be able to find, uh, they will be able to find out their king next king and to this tournament came sir actor and his uh, and his son sir k who had just been knighted that means he has just been given the title of a knight otherwise he was a just a small boy only just like arthur and young arthur his adopted son who was but a boy he was a boy till then he was not uh, grown up as a man or as a knight something when they reached the grounds where the tournament was to be held sir ke found that he had left his sword behind in the castle where they had spent the previous night he asked young arthur to fetch it for him now aata hai kahani mein twist now what is the twist now what happened as they all came to the uh, tournament okay so what happened they uh, the tournament was on the present day so the last night they stayed in a castle okay and in that castle while he was coming to the tournament the next day uh, in the next morning so what happened this uh, this person sir k he had forgotten to uh, bring his sword from the castle am i able to make you understand when they reached the grounds where the tournament was to be held sir k found that he had left his sword he had left his sword the sword which belonged to him he had forgotten that in the castle where he had stayed the previous night where they had spent the previous night he had uh, he asked young arthur to fetch it for him and he told uh, arthur to go to the castle and to bring sir kes uh, sword from the castle okay but when arthur reached the castle there was no one to let him in but when he went back to the castle nobody had let him in 
nobody had given him the permission to go inside the castle then arthur remembered that the sword he had seen in the churchyard i will go to the churchyard he said and take that sword with me and i am going to stop here because let's keep the thing upcoming okay in the next video we will discuss so let me tell you what happened he went to the castle and he uh, asked for permission to enter the castle but he was not allowed to then he remembered about that sword which he had seen in the church yet now he thought that i will go to the church yet and i will get the uh, sword from there and then i'll give it to my brother you might have understood that what is going to happen now so that's why we will stop here you uh, read the parts till here uh, let me just check if any other you just read up to this uh, 10th paragraph okay if uh, i'll see which are the possible questions coming up from here then you will solve those and then we will uh, proceed uh, towards the next um, parts the remaining paragraphs we will we will finish in the next video or within the next class we will finish this so thank you for today